Good afternoon and evening, everyone. Let's test a spade today. Welcome to Two Woo's Day. Two Woo's Day, August 20th, 2024. It's day 233. You can have cheeseburger. And I am a little bit late doing this one. Purely because, uh, we got all of our body trackers going, so, uh, I can move my ankle around without moving my knee around, which is, which is fantastic. However, I did also have to put the Velcro back on my VR ports. Fortunately, couldn't do Taylor. Then I read a little behind on that, and I did. And we decided to work on one of Tara's alternate avatars. And we, we, we decided to do that, but um, we ran into some problems where there are certain things that are beyond, or I wouldn't exactly say beyond our skill set, but also, the, well, really, it, it's beyond our experience, being that we have to take every single fizz bone off the avatar in order for it to work cross-platform. Because that's what Tara also wants, is he wants his avatar to be cross-platform, which, uh, really, really, Tara. But, other than that, not a whole lot to talk about. I asked Buttercup if she had anything interesting to say about how our school day went, and she said no. So, it's either she doesn't have anything interesting to talk about, or she doesn't feel like talking to us about what her day was like. I'll get it out of her mother later. You'll see. If she has anything, she stares it with her mother. I'll find out later. Not, I'm pretty sure there's nothing bad because I haven't got any messages from her teachers either, so... I mean, as you think about it, it's only... Hmm, it's only day five. It shouldn't be, but you know, when you start on a hump day... I don't know why they decided to start midweek last week, but they did. But... When you start, when you start halfway through the way, it's only day five. Which means tomorrow's hump day should be interesting enough. She, she should get through that when she's fine too. That's what I expect. Oh, and if I'm talking a little bit fast, we made, we uh, started late. Last night we made some really, really, um... Really creamy, sweet coffee last night. And we put it in the fridge. So we made a gallon of iced coffee. And we're, we've been having... Uh, Lily and myself, we've been having that today. And, um... I am feeling it. I am feeling it. But it does. In terms of VR, it does feel kind of nice to have my knees back. I do like having knees. Being able to move my ankle around willy nilly without moving my knee around too much. But the problem, of course, is that I think it overloads all the tracking systems. Like the lighthouses might be all, all somewhat overwhelmed. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's my computer, or maybe it's just this room. I don't know. But I feel my legs getting away from me a little bit here and there, especially if I face that way for some reason. And I know it's not whatever that thing is. Oh, oh, let me turn the camera off. It's a very bright and colorful world. And it, it is Nature on Ice by Display. It's an island with ice skating, climbing script, mirrors, truth or dare, jumping stuff, etc. And uh, yes, you can you can jump here. Look at me. Yeah. Anyway, let's get that camera back. Come here, y'all. Y'all. Huh. Before, huh? Let's see. I do kind of want to see. Well, I can sense something about ice skating, but where is that ice? There's a pond. It's a very green pond. I'm get oh wait, it's not a pond. That's just grass. Silly me. But what do we have? Um, there's. Found the ice skating. Ah, uh, found the ice skating. It's. Well, it's literally this. Wait. Ah, uh, oof. Eh. Oh no. Oh. Nah. What's going on? 
Uh, this was a bad... Uh, that was a really bad idea. Um... I don't think this world is very friendly to old body. There we go. I don't think the ice skating is uh, old body friendly, so I don't recommend it. And there's also this flipping rabbit thing. Wait. It's... um... Sorry, it's back flipping. Go, bunny, go! I, I don't know, cheer on or something. But, what uh, is that a bowl? What a load of bowl. Hello, Mr. Ball. Let's see, um... It's an evil ball. Or maybe not, I don't know. Do I just hit... Well, no, it'll be fine. Let's see, what else do they have? There's a... There is... Is that Aztec or Mayan? There's a pyramid back here. Where's the climbing stuff, anyway? I don't know. Um... Okay, so a lot of these things are backflipping. Even that one is. Wait for it. Yep, there it goes. There are a whole bunch of these backflipping things. And is this a point? No, it's just particles. I'll take it. I don't know. Oh, it's just that it just has a feather. Oh, it reminds me of Aku Aku. Well, the mask reminds me of Aku Aku. For those who are wondering, that's Crash Bandicoot. One of my favorite platformer games. I like Crash Bandicoot over Mario. That's me. Sorry, Lilia, but we are Crash Bandicoot fans. It's so much better than Mario to us. Even though there are far fewer names, but that's highly part of the charm of it, there are fewer of them. Except a Crash Bash. That game was awful. Don't play Crash Bash on the PlayStation 1. It is the worst Mario Party knockoff I've ever played. And they didn't even say it was supposed to be like that when they advertised it, so I was supremely disappointed because I was just been writing off the success of Crash Warped, which was Crash 3. Oh. And of course, there I go. I had a breath again. Doesn't take much for me, it's unfortunate. But I don't have a whole lot else to talk about, so I apologize. That's just to be expected. And really, it's... There's so much more I want to be doing, but I think really what's been throwing us all off is just the sheer heat. It's not been fun. It's been... It's been difficult to deal with all this heat. But we're... We're doing our best. We are definitely doing our best. <sighs> I can definitely feel... I should have done this video earlier. Because the heat... Is building up very, very fast right now. But that's gonna be terrible. Wait. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, because yesterday got up to about 114 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. For those who don't use the Imperial system. But yeah, I got to about 114 Fahrenheit yesterday by about... I want to be able to say about 5... 36 o'clock. Is when it got to its hottest, and it was... it was awful. It was this terrible. But... We survived, and, and um, Tara did try to go outside and get some, uh, space photos of, you know, like some, um... She wanted to take some photos of some stars and see how it did. Well, it, um... Yeah, let's just say the moon was very unforgiving with that aspect, but we got some interesting ones out of it. There were quite a few photos he did. But he's, he's currently waiting for September 2nd, because September 2nd is the, the uh, upcoming new moon, or you know, the, you know, new moon, opposite of full moon. There you go. He's waiting for that one. He's hoping it's also going to be clear skies that night. And he's also secretly hoping for a midnight blackout. Or that, you know, you need to because... If we get a combination of all of those, he'll be able to get some of the best photos he's gotten of outer space possible. Because the last time he got some really good ones, the moon was out at the same time. So if he gets on a new moon at the same time, many good photos will be coming. 
Was it again? The first thing we need is we need that new moon. At just the right time, we need clear skies. And then we can worry about whether or not we get the blackout. We know we'll get that blackout, but that would... <laughs> that would be extremely convenient. <laughs> and, uh, it's not like we're gonna mind, you know? We're not gonna mind one bit if we get a blackout that night, because, you know, everyone will be taken care of, and we'll be reading photos. <laughs> and anyway, I want everyone to enjoy the rest of your two wounds day. Because... For us, it's hot. It's just hot. Not gonna be much different from that. We're gonna go and we're gonna have some fish. If only I had some cabbage, we'd do fish tacos. We don't have any fish. We, well, we have fish. We don't have any cabbage. So we're just gonna have fish. Probably just fish and rice. But get this pass of spade on your two wounds. They all just 20th, 2024, day 233. We'll see you all tomorrow on hump day, which is still mine. Which is also very, very awesome. See you everyone.